If you have a Bracero or are interested in one and wanting to know how they work, I thought I'd make a quick video on how to start the fire for uh, the wood that turns it into your burning charcoal embers and whatnot. Now, the thing to keep in mind here is you are making your own charcoal, essentially, um, basically, or at least how I do it is I just take my dry wood, I put some tumbleweeds in with it, light them, let it all catch fire, and then eventually it starts to burn down on its own. You can start it with charcoal if you want to. Um, if you do that, I would use lump charcoal, being that is essentially real wood that's turned into charcoal. It's not like your Kingsford uh, briquettes that have chemicals added to it to help them burn longer and things like that. But if you want to make your own quote unquote charcoal embers, I mean, this really isn't charcoal because you gotta, you know, put it in a closed in thing, light it on fire, gets all the oxygen sucked down, turns into charcoal, where this is essentially just your embers burning as your like fire starter with charcoal. But if you don't wanna start a fire underneath your meat, you just wanna have the actual embers cooking your meat, which still give off a, a smoky kind of flavor. It's not gonna be like you're smoking wood, but it's going to still give it that little bit of smoky, mild smoky flavor, especially if you're using a hardwood like me. I'm gonna use red oak wood today, very strong, really good with any kind of red meat. So wanted to just show this. This is with the Lone Star Grills. Uh, Santa Maria, it's a Bracero add-on, and I haven't seen many videos on it, so this is how you get that fire started with the Bracero. So what I use is red oak wood, like I said, if I'm doing red meat, I'm gonna make some carne asada. So with that, I use red oak meat, use it with steaks, uh, you know, anything that you're grilling, I use red oak for. So what I do is I take my red oak, lay it out here, I get my two driest, smallest pieces I'm using and putting it on the bottom first. And then what I do is I try to lay a tumbleweed in one end and a tumbleweed in the other end. And then what that allows is for everything to kind of catch there. And then once that catches, I'll add in the other wood. And then this process does take a bit that'll, once they are all fully ignited, it'll take about 45 minutes to really break down these pieces of wood into coal embers, but it's going to make the flavor 100% natural. And again, the, this is how they do it in Argentina, South American countries. If you've ever been there, it's basically one big Santa Maria grill. Now, they do usually start a lot of their stuff with charcoal, but um, if you're using, like I said, lump charcoal, which is true oak wood, Usually, sometimes they are made with different types of wood, but usually it's oak wood. You're not gonna really tell the difference too much. This is more of just being more of a purist way, and it's kind of fun, which is why I did it. The main thing to keep to keep in mind is you're building this fire, kind of like a, a Tetris effect to a, to a degree. And what I mean by that is, you're gonna make it where the fire can breathe, obviously, but on top of that, you have to continue to layer it so the next layers get lit. So that bottom layer is getting ready to start falling apart. And you wanna make sure the layer above it is already ignited, kind of like it is now. Those middle layers are ignited where the bottom ones are really starting to get that ashy, charcoal-y kind of look to it, you know, where they're gonna drop the embers down soon and, and fall through. And then that way, that next middle layer is lit and then it's gonna ignite the next new layer. So basically that middle layer will become the new bottom layer and then that top layer will become the new middle layer. And then you just continue to stack it up to however much wood you need. What you do now, is you're gonna take your, your big shovel or whatever you use, you go in, and, and then you just scoop them out and drop them down. And now you have your true fire made from burned down wood. I'm about where I need it to be. I only have a few pieces of meat I'm gonna cook here, but if I were to cook more, I would continue to add fire, as I said, in that Tetris style effect, so it continues to burn down how I need it to.
So now I have all the embers under the fire. I'm leaving the door open so you can see, but typically you would have this door closed just to help keep the tra traps and heat in a little better. Uh, but this is all you do. Uh, scoop it over, pop it in like I've been showing in the video, and you get that authentic wood cooked, you know, off homemade embers. You're not using any charcoal that has chemicals on it. But again, if you needed to use charcoal, lum charcoal is the way to go. There's nothing added to that. I use BNB, I love their stuff. Uh, there's other companies, Royal Oak, that's pretty popular, but you don't have to use them. Um, uh, I'll make this asada another day, so I can give you guys like a recipe on it, but really it's just a little coffee cat from my local uh, Mexican store called Vallarta. They have a lot of really good pre-seasoned meats. Uh, I season this myself, but it's with their, with their, with their uh, ingredients. But just wanted to show how this was used. If you were interested in buying one or thinking about it, you do not have to buy this when you buy the Santa Maria Grill. If you buy a Santa Maria Grill, this is just an add-on. So you can buy this later on down the road if you think, hey, you know what, I, I want to do that. Or if you're just trying to save a couple hundred bucks, I think this is a four or $500 uh, add-on. I just figured with shipping, I would just pay it so it all in one big, big thing. Um, but I love it. It's fun to do, it does take a while. You do use a lot more wood than you use charcoal, but like I said, you're getting that authentic Argentine style cooking experience. And I really don't think you uh, can put a price on that.